Hello and welcome to the GIMP first time tutorial. Um, in this tutorial I will explain basic things about the main windows. I'll be explaining loading an image, adding guides to an image, rotating, resizing, change proportions of the image, fill areas of similar color with another color and I will explain how to make wallpaper of your photo. So. That's the summary. I'll start with explanation of, uh, of the three boxes you see here. First you have the toolbox with all kinds of tools like the rectangle select tool and the paintbrush tool and the fuzzy select tool and also the, uh, the bucket fill tool uh, which will come by on a later stage. This is the uh, main image window and this is the layers, channels, paths, etc. doc, which comes in very handy because you can see all kinds of information. But we'll talk about that in another screencast. Right now I will also show you how to resize those windows. It's very easy. That's why uh, the GIMP is, uh, is so brilliant. You can very easily resize the windows that you want to resize. Make them smaller and bigger. So right now I'll explain how to load an image. I have an image here on my desktop. It's from the Musée d'Art in uh, Barcelona. And I will load it. That's very easy. Just take it and drag it to the main image window. And drop it. So it loads. And I can resize it. So it fits nicely here and I'll just drag the layers and channels dock out of the way. So this is my image. You don't see all of it because it is zoomed in. What this means, 25%, is the program shows the um, image zoomed out to 25% of its original. Um, for our purposes it's still too big so we have to make this smaller. So I can set this to an amount of 12.5% and then it neatly shows in our main image window. Well first uh, thing I see, uh, of course it's a beautiful image, but, but it looks like me that the horizontal line is not good, the horizon is not straight. This, uh, because of the rooftop, you can see it here, the rooftop of the museum, which uh, has a horizontal line. And uh, we can fix this first. It's very easy. We, we will create a straight guideline to compare this with the horizon. And that's very easy. Just click on the rectangle select tool and make a selection just by clicking and dragging the mouse close by the horizon. So the, the, the rooftop here. And go to images, or image I mean, and then guides, and then new guides from selection, which does exactly what it says. It makes these guides straight guides to um, uh, to do something with the image. You can unselect everything by pressing shift control A or click anywhere in the image like this. And now we can press the rotate tool that's here. And when we click that when I click on the image again we can rotate it. So by dragging my mouse like this, just down and upwards, we can rotate it and we can zoom in to check whether the roof is lining up with our guiding lines. So we can do that here by going to 100%. Here are our guiding lines. Well, zoom out a little, that's uh, better. 
So right here we see the guiding lines which look almost straight but we can fix this a little so yes like this it's okay and this window sh actually shows how much you are rotating so this is like minus one degree or something well don't pay attention to it it's not that important you can click rotate and you really activate the rotation and because the image is quite big the rotation also takes a little time so now the rotation is done and we see the roof lines are straight so now it's time to get rid of those grid lines I can do that by clicking image guides and then remove all guides so now the image is uh, free of guides so the lines are uh, are gone one important thing you see here in the upper left corner and the upper right corner etc are the leftovers from the rotation because we have rotated it of course um, little leftovers on the sides are present and we can remove them by select the rectangle select tool and then select the part of the image which is not affected within those checkered parts of the image we, ha we will have to make the selection I'll just make it a, a quick one for now so when we have made this selection we go to image and we want to crop the image to the selection so we will make it as large or as small as the selection we have just made so I click on that and voila the image is cropped as we call it so right now we have a neat image which is rotated and cropped